Hello, and welcome to Highland Outdoors 1. In today's video, I'll be showing you the Ontario Rat 1. Okay, here we have the Ontario Rat Model 1. And you can find this knife on different websites for around $30. Zoom in a little bit, give you a closer look. The knife does not come with this lanyard or lanyard bead, but it does come with a lanyard hole. This knife has a black AUS-8 stainless steel blade. It is a drop point with a full flat grind. It has thumb jimping and ambidextrous thumb studs to open it with. And here I'll show you what the blade looks like. RAT Model 1, a USA 8. This says Randall's Adventure Training, hence the RAT. And the little silver banner, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. It says Ontario Knife Company, RAT Knives. And on the back, if it'll focus, it doesn't want to. It says Taiwan. This is a made in Taiwan knife. Let me zoom out a little bit. This knife has black nylon handle scales. It has stainless steel liners and they are not they are not skeletonized, so you won't be saving any weight there. It is a liner lock. And this knife is fully engaged about halfway across the blade. So it does have a little bit more room for wear on this, but the uh, liner lock has thumb jimping. Just push it over to close your knife. Blade centering, I don't know if you can see. On this knife is near perfect. And I don't know if the sun will catch. This knife has, looks to have phosphor bronze washers. Nice smooth opening and closing action. You can flick this knife open. Whoop, fail. It's behind the camera, so it's cold out today, so these the oil in these knives are a little on the stiff side, but trust me, you can flick this knife easily. Uh, we have four-way adjustable pocket clip 
Right now we're in the right hand tip up mode. It has a spot on every corner of this knife to install that clip wherever you prefer it. And it does have a nice clip. Very sturdy, very rugged. And it carries in your pocket about that deep. You'll have that much showing out of your pocket. The knife is uh, flow through construction. Very easy to clean and maintain with that. You can see the standoff pillar construction. It is torque screw construction. Hold your knife together. Pivot screw is adjustable with a torque screw. The, the grip on these uh, nylon handle scales is somewhat smooth. It, it has a, a little grip to it, but the knife is fairly wide. It, it's a benefit to having the knife wide and, and having a good grip. You have plenty to grab onto, and the ergonomics on this knife are outstanding. It just fits in your hand very natural. This I would call a medium to large everyday carry knife. And a very popular knife. You'll find many videos on the internet showing this knife. There are many different variations this this particular model has a a black coating on the blade and it is I don't it, I don't think it's powder coat I think it's some type of paint or Teflon coating it does wear off you can see some spots that it's already wearing off but that kinda adds a reverse patina type attractiveness to a coated blade when it wears off. I'll get the tape measure out and give us some dimensions on this knife. Okay. Overall length. Appears to be eight and five eighths inches. A handle length of five inches. Blade length of three and five eighths inches. Cutting edge of three and three eighths inches. The width of the knife is a half inch there's going to be about an inch showing out of your pocket when it's in your pocket I'll get you a weight hold on okay let's turn it on weight this knife is with lanyard 5.3 ounces and without the lanyard 5 ounces uh, my opinion of this knife is uh, I think it's great it's easy to flick open if you're not behind a camera and uh, it feels great in the hand the way the knife unique shape of the knife the way the blade goes up and then over it, it makes a nice thumb ramp there and uh, 
it's nice in the pocket. When it's in your pocket, it's easy to reach down beside it to get something else out of your pocket with no sharp, rough edges. And uh, I highly recommend this knife for around thirty dollars. I think it's a uh, it'll serve you well. In my next episode, I'll be showing you the Kershaw Skyline.